What's poppin' guys, it's Dynamite, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to chop a song in Jersey Club style on Ableton. Before we get to it, make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this. Now, first, I'm gonna click this song, and this song is by Wolfman WTP, produced by to the Dynamite. That would be me. Now, first, I let me play this song for you guys first. If you haven't heard it already. Go, go, go. Yeah. setting the correct BPM. If you don't know the song of your, the BPM of your song, you can download a program such as Virtual DJ. That program is free. Because I made this song with Wolfman, I already know the BPM and that's 150. So I'm going to set 150 up here and I'm going to warp it. Um, cut out the uh, silence in the beginning. Now it's on beat. <laughs> There's four measures of where the beat repeats itself throughout the track. And in this case, it would be the first two bars of the song. I'm going to play for you guys. Now, I can go somewhere else in the track and you hear it again. I'm going to go to the 25th bar. Control, select the part where you want to chop. In this case, it will be a third bar. You press Control and E, and it chops it for you. Now I'm gonna bring this part down to the second track, and I'm gonna mute it for now. Now I'm gonna play the beginning and see where what I want to chop. Okay. So I'm going to chop up certain parts, the same thing just by pressing Control E you can chop up different sections. Now in this case I, I kind of want to pitch it down just a little bit. Uh, transposing. Find a delay on Ableton by going to audio effects and a delay is right there. And you can add a delay to your track just by simply clicking and dragging it onto the track. Now I'm gonna add a four step BPM, a four step delay. Higher. 
deleted that is by pressing Control and X. They're basically cutting it. Now that I got the chops that I want, I'm gonna chop up some of Wolfman's vocals. Now you may be wondering how am I gonna get the vocals if there's a bass in the way. That's not a problem. The solution to do this is by EQing out the low end. So I'm gonna bring it up EQ, I'm gonna bring the EQ8. You can find that in your audio effects section, the category. filter and to do that you just uh, click the first one and go to the second option and that'll be a high pass filter and I'm gonna drag it all the way up to 267 hertz switch it without clicking you know, my mouse by pressing shift and tab will allow you to switch between both of the tabs here. to transpose it we would transpose it by two negative two now I want to add a delay to the vocal chops as well now I'm gonna have to delay coming second then the reverb the reason why I'm doing this is so the Delay doesn't interfere with the reverb, and if you delay the reverb, you'll just be delaying the reverb. And that does the sound too nice. <laughs> <laughs> 
but if you like it, go ahead. Now, I wanna increase the pitch of these, do the same chops, but uh, make it on the higher octave. Now, how I duplicated that is by highlighting both of the tracks by clicking through mouse and dragging and holding control on the keyboard and just click and drag it anywhere. To get it in the same key, I'ma transpose this by 12, so it'll be 10. Negative 2 plus 10. Negative 2 plus 12 equals 10. So now we'll hear what that sounds like. Now it sounds a little bit weird because the effects that we added on there are not applied to the fourth track. So to add it, all you gotta do is go to your effect section and by holding shift on your keyboard, you can select all of them. And now we're gonna hold down control on your keyboard and clicking them and dragging it to the fourth section, the fourth track. And now both of the same effects are there. Now if you select all of them and go to the transpose section, it's going to transpose all of them even though we have the high octave ones here. Now I don't want the delay on this one so I'm going to simply drag this one down and it will keep the same effects and now I'm just turn off the delay. did that was by selecting all of them and clicking Control D. And to loop, you can hold down, hold this little uh, loop section and press the little loop icon right here. And that's basically how you chop on Ableton. It's quite simple once you know the BPM and know what you want to chop up. If you want more content like this, please subscribe and like this video. I have a new drum kit out on the website called the Jersey Club Essential Drum Kit. It has all the sounds you need to make any Jersey Club track. Leave a comment below what you would like to see next.